Now, today's Through the Decades Retro Spectacle. The romance of the 1920s, a time when Hollywood exploded, flappers danced, and jazz soared. American culture hit new heights, some higher than others. Not for acrophobics or for people with big behinds, this fad tested the will and endurance of its most enthusiastic participants. Flagpole sitting. It became all the rage in 1924 thanks to Alvin Shipwreck Kelly, a stuntman who climbed up a flagpole and just sat there for 13 hours and 13 minutes. Kelly, who claimed to be a survivor of the Titanic, did it on a dare, but when word got out, everyone wanted to be king of the pole. Trying to cash in on the new fad and set records, Baltimore became the unofficial flagpole sitting capital in 1929, with 20 kids attempting it in one week alone. Usually, there'd be a little platform for support. Food would be sent up by rope, and flagpole sitting became the new spectator sport. Cosmopolitan Magazine had a name for it too, calling the new fad competitive imbecility. Kelly, known as the premier flagpole sitter, was hired to sit all across the country. He did it at a dance marathon in Madison Square Garden and didn't stop till the last dancer dropped. He even sat during thunderstorms. In 1930, Kelly broke his own record by sitting for 49 days and one hour. But he wasn't just sitting around doing nothing for nothing. He reportedly earned up to $500 a day. That's about seven grand a day when you adjust it for inflation. But in 1929, when the stock market crashed, this fad came crashing down too, as no one had the cash to just watch someone sit on a pole anymore. In 1939, to promote National Donut Dunking Week, Kelly brought back the fad, only this time he flag sat with a twist, doing a handstand all the while scarfing down 13 donuts. No word on how he took his coffee. <laughs> 